G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. So, last episode we got military mostly up and running. Um, we are missing two components. Uh, one is the one that makes walls, which we got brick this far, but it needs to continue all the way along. Actually, we need belts. Uh, belts, splitters, undergrounds. Hey, happy days. Um, so yeah, we got military almost completed. And you're going to have to go there. Nope. There. And we're going to bring our bricks down to here. With a couple of inserters. And we're going to have you make bricks. And then the other thing we... Whoop, things auto-save. Uh, the other thing I need to do is I need to set up actual military science. So military science gives us two packs for 10 seconds. We're aiming for around about a pack per second. So um, I only need one. We're aiming for... This takes six seconds to get one. So we're aiming for six of these machines. This takes 10 seconds to get two. We only need one. So we need about five military machines. I need to handcraft more of those. Five of these machines making... Five of these machines should give us everything or oh, should be at the exact same speed as our existing ones uh, okay i'll go get long handed in a minute uh long handed so i need that 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 and that the ingredients we need are that top one won't work you gun turn and i'm away uh research okay we're going to get some mining productivity. Uh, no, I'm going to get rid of this for, for just a second. And finish this. Okay. Now we'll bring up research. So, research is done. We have a bunch of red and green science, which you think I would grab, but most of it's useless. Um, like, we could get lasers, but then they actually need batteries which are locked behind blue science um well they're not even, they're not locked behind blue science but they require a chemical input and we don't have chem plants up and running yet we don't have oil up and running yet so it's a little bit of a wasted research um the only research that we have access to that is actually helpful because everything else is either absolutely useless or hidden behind um, a chemical plant is Mining productivity. So for 100 automation, uh, no, yeah, 100 automation and 100 logistics science, we can get mining productivity, which gives us plus 2% out of each of our miners, which is not a lot. But when you're considering a miner has, say, 10,000 iron, 2% free productivity is, is 200 free iron. Um, now, it probably costs us more than that to do the research first up, but that's one miner. This is 2% for every single miner. So it's 2% extra on all our iron miners, all our coal miners, all our copper miners, all our stone miners, um, which really, really adds up over time. So research one to three costs the same amount. So I'm actually gonna do one, two, and three. Um, we may cancel them. In fact, I might just cancel that one just in case. Um, I think we'll only get two done before we've actually got military up and running because then I really want some military science. I want more damage out of my bullets, plus then I want more shooting speed out of my bullets. I want the bullets to go out the gun faster. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for right now. We need to hook power up to this. We need to take out two other outputs needed for military science, which is the three prerequisites are AP ammo, grenades, and walls. And that there, that there, that there, that there. 
and that means I can have an output down here. And one, two, one, two, one. And power these guys up. And we can start producing military science. It's not going to be fast, but it is going to happen. And that's probably the important thing. I need to bring these science packs over to here. And I'm actually going to just, just ghost in a path. So I sort of know a target that I've got to hit. Now, it does not matter in the slightest that this belt is out in the in the biters no man land because biters should leave it alone if they happen to attack it because it made them grumpy which is really the only reason they should ever um, attack it then anything that's left on the anything that's on the belt at the time will just get dumped really i'm like five belts short um Anything that's on the belt at the time should just get dumped to exactly where it was on the floor. And I can just run along and pick it up. Where's your output? Where's your input? Oh. Maybe a small oversight. 50. Okay. Uh, get my belt. Grab all the ones that you've made. Let me through. So we should now be producing military military science at the same speed as our other existing sciences. Which should no, that goes back there, that goes there, that goes there. We should keep everything nice and in line. Um, obviously, I can see that my 12 labs are just not enough. Uh, I can't do that one yet. So we're going to just five, six. Yep, I'm going to make more labs to make things go faster. At the same time, I've now got grenades and AP ammo. I actually want to store these in a box. I, I definitely want them for personal use. I personally plan on um, saying hi to all the neighbors with my lovely new friendship pellets. So what I want to do is I want to separate these two items out. And as you can see, I've put in a splitter and I've filtered one side. So it now means automatically one item is going to end up on one side of the belt. The other is going to end up on the other side of the belt. So I can say, hey, I just want one stack of grenades. On this side, I just, I want all of them, to be honest. I want all the AP ammo it can make because I'm going to use all the AP ammo it can make. In fact, I'm even going to upgrade it to a fast inserter um, because there's a lot of output here we, we have to account for. Uh, okay, so now that's done, we can come back and look at our make most things. What do we, what do we put in a wall? Okay, first things first, let's go to our chest full of ammo. We did have a car somewhere. Do you have lots of stuff in you still? I don't know. Let's go pick up some ammo. I've got six gun turrets on me. I've now got 39 gun turrets on me. That's a better number. Um, you have lots of ammo. Okay, I'm now happier about my ammo situation. Because the whole back of the base is still actually technically not defended. In fact, most of the base is not defended because I've been loading gun turrets manually. Ideally, I should automate it. Honestly, I haven't done it yet. And I will do it, just I don't know when. The catch with putting down permanent defenses is it does give you a nice wall. And you can even go as far as automatically re refilling the turrets, which is normally a, a step I take. But at the same time, it, it very much locks you in to a designated area where you've put a lot of time and effort into building those defenses. And then you end up with a situation where you're probably going to have to move them to get more territory to then keep moving forward. Um, so that's just something else you have to keep in consideration. 
Uh, at the same time, we obviously are going to need more raw resources. These are the best ones we can aim for. And we have oil right there. So maybe we should look at oil. Um, maybe not this episode. Maybe an upcoming episode after we get more AP ammo. Uh, actually, there's a lot of gun turrets in there. Maybe with the amount of ammo we have, we can go off and go to war with what we've got. 1.8k. Okay. How much is in there? 299. So, 299, if I put that in my SMG, I now actually have a lot of ammo. Uh, there was a gun turret there. Repair packs. Uh, you can have a little pillbox wall. You can have a pillbox wall. You too can have a pillbox wall. Everybody else seems reasonably okay. Okay. So I want repair packs. Just craft me a lot. I don't mind. And then honestly, I want to wait for daytime before I go out to combat. Um... Okay, so grenades are going fine. Science is coming out. Uh, it's already backed up. That's the other thing I was going to do. Put down more labs. So by the time we put down the labs, it's probably going to be daylight enough that we can go out to combat. And obviously I'd be with that. So let's fix that as well. Yeah, excellent. Um, that one, that one, that one. How is power actually? Oh, it should be good. It should be good for a while. Okay. Do I have any other gun turrets sitting in the middle of the base doing nothing important? Because if I do, I might as well take them off the wall. Wall. War! Okay, so we need to capture and conquer this oil. That's really high on the list, which means this biter base has to leave us alone. Permanently. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a few of them. Um... Yeah, aggro one of them, shoot one of them. That's all you need to get the whole lot chasing you. And stand behind the guns and hold the space bar. Okay, so now that's done. Hi. Okay, nope. I don't actually want that in range. I want this really as a fallback position. Come on, throw all the grenades. Run back to where it's safe. Done with that part of base. Much more effective than a car sometimes. Oh, hi. And of course, I find the one bit of acid to walk through. Okay, again, a pissed off worm. Okay. So I want to know where his range is. These ranges right there. Sure, we'll take this one out with purely with grenades and splash damage. Okay. You can even take that one out with grenades and splash damage. Alright, into the fray. Crap, I didn't change direction. Got the worms. The worms, the more important thing. 
they do one hell of a lot of damage. That's also that bite of base gone. So that just leaves this one up here. Which are the main ones absorbing our pollution. We could even come down and deal with this guy again. Small worm, small worm, small worm, small worm. We can just come and deal with them. Um, which I'm always tempted to do. Um, buy some token. Eventually they will out. Well, they won't out tech us, but they will make uh, X. I forgot to change my combat. Oh, you're too close. You're too close. Okay. Alright. So we're going to have to run in. Hold the space bar. Shoot everything. Throw all the grenades in the world. And then we walk through acid on the way out. Of course we do. Okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, so, oil wise, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I might as well, five, six, seven, I might as well start handcrafting those. Now we've cleared out the area, I should move all the gun turrets forward. Um, but they're fine at where they are at the moment. The one thing I really am desperately going to have to add to our little uh, make almost everything is I need to desperately move that gun, those gun turns out. Um, I need to desperately add pipes because we're about to go through an insane amount of pipes um, making... Um, making, well, all the oil components. So, I want to make pipes there, and I want to make pipes there. I want you to make underground pipes, which also requires some iron. Uh, oh, tile. Actually, I've got this room in here. that power pole there, put this here, put an underground, actually let's just take a whole belt's worth, put that there, we want those two, those two, uh, and those two. Okay, is that too much ironing? That is too much ironing. One inserter is of one iron plate, so it's more than enough to keep up. Uh, that's 10 pipe, so we need a lot of pipe. And we're gonna start with you having the output box there. And thanks, uh, pointing your bullets, and then shoot them faster. Okay, so we're gonna have underground pipes. Now these stacking stacks are 50, so Two stacks is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 500 is a perfectly acceptable number. Um, at the same time, I need standard pipes, which we might just for the moment tuck into there. Uh, these guys stack at 100 just to make things different. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Again, perfectly reasonable number. Um, we actually need pipes for a lot of a lot of the oil product buildings. So the oil refinery needs pipes, the chemical plant needs pipes. Um, all these things add up over time. Uh, so we're gonna dump that back in there. We're gonna put that in there. I should have some of those on me. Put down two gun turrets that are damaged. Repair those so they're no longer damaged. Um, tell both Razor and Dropbox to shut up. I apologize. Um, okay, so oil. Oil is something, where is it? It's all the way out there. You know what? We want all that ammo back. We're gonna extend out the wall. 
a lot and move all the gun turrets forward. Uh, now this is all, hang on, this is all forest. We can put a radar there just so we can get a bit more sight coverage. Okay, this is all forest. But the north side is not forest. It is the remnants of the biter bases that I have exterminated. All right, so we're gonna go there, there, there. Now this hasn't got us up to those patches that we, we, we're gonna need fairly quickly. At the same time, we are still burning through a lot of material. Um, in fact, actually, coal was getting a little bit worrisome, worrisome last I looked at it. Okay, so ammo. There, 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 there. If I'm putting 100 in each stack in each building, it technically means I only have enough for 23 gun turrets. And I do think I just popped in more than 23. Uh, 600... Five, four, three, two. Oh, really? Came home with ammo? Didn't expect that. Okay, one there, one there, one there. So you can have ammo, you can have ammo. Actually, we put that amount in our inventory as well. You can have ammo. You can have ammo, you can have what's that, whatever's left. <coughs> Oil's right there, which is going to take us ages to dig to. Like ages and ages and ages. You were standing on top of oil. So, uh, plan B is the best way to clear the trees is with your friendly neighborhood grenades. Uh, trees blow up really well. Like, unbelievably well. So, that's oil, that's oil. The other two are right here at the tree line. That's one. And at this tree line, there should be more grenades. Now, you will notice I have to throw in multiple grenades to clear a tree. Um, with. It used to be just two. So the stronger explosives upgrade, it used to be. No, three. It used to be three upgrades and grenades, then one shot to trees. I have no idea if it's still like that or it's more. Um, it's something we will have to find out probably in a future episode. So I will thank you guys for watching. Um, next episode, we're definitely going to play with oil. <clears throat> um, I'm probably going to need even more gun turrets because we need a water source for oil. And obviously with oil right here and water right there, this is going to be our oil section. Um, wow. Um, I also might go deal with these guys between episodes because uh, that's a lot of neighbors that I'd have to they're basically sucking up gun turret ammo which is not nice of them so I'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you're enjoying uh, our little tutorial series on Factory Island um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we cover one of the harder things oil so I'll see you then all right bye